Hello and welcome to another video. So in the previous video I was talking a lot about packaging and how package managers work and how the dependencies of packages are interacting and today I wanted to take a little better look at uh, some of the uh, popular package formats. So we already talked about uh, how Arch Linux packages work. So this one, this package has like this heykg.tar.zst um, name because it is uh, zipped with a different um, compression and well you can see here all these different uh, directories that are inside this uh, zip file and all these files and so I told you in the last video that uh, basically the package manager's job is to put these files into the file system and keep track of them and so of course uh, so these arch packages have these uh, like the package info file here which contains the dependencies and make dependencies of these different files so or rather these packages so these once these dependencies are accounted for it just puts these files into the file system and so we can check how it keeps tabs on this if i just give it the pac pacman dash capital q and l uh, this command will list the files that are uh, that that belong to a specific package so this is the calc package in my case and i will just pipe it into less so we can uh, scroll it so you can see that there are these like the uh, in the usr slash bin slash calc binary is there which uh, you can see is uh, or rather uh, no wait yeah this here so usr slash bin in this archive there is a usr slash bin and this has this calc binary and so we have this uh, calc binary here in our file system and there is this calc directory in this usr slash include slash calc which is all these uh these dot h header files and then we have the libcalc dot so these shared object files and so of course we can check them in the archive manager so these are inside this archive here you can see so uh, this is how Pacman just basically remembers all these files that have been put there. So this is like kind of a, a, a big overview, like a, what do, how do you say it, like a thousand feet overview of the package manager. So it gets this uh, archived and compressed uh, file which contains all these uh, files and the basic information and unzips it to our file system and tracks these files and when we want to uninstall this calc package pacman will just remove all these files so that's how the uh, arch linux packages work so i downloaded a, a few um, other things from the internet some other packages so here there is like an RPM uh, file, there is an app image, and there is a deb file. So what is the, um, the difference here? So if I go back to my command line here, and uh, so let's just list these files. So what happens if I just type in file, and I will go for the LBRY app image. So you can see that the app image itself is an ELF 64-bit executable, uh, dynamically linked, etc. So basically, the app image itself is an executable file. So it just, I think, it just contains everything inside and just runs by itself. So we cannot really get anything more information about that just like this. 
So probably you could look it up on the internet, but what I'm more curious about is the DAB and the RPM packages, because those are what are like considered the regular packages. You can see that this is a Debian package. It's also like a tar GZ and uh, so data compression with xzip. And if I say file and uh, zoom, so the library did not have a RPM package. So this one is some kind of binary. So for the, so this is the Wikipedia entry for the RPM package manager and it says that this uh, RPM file, it, con it is like a binary format which consists of a few sections. This is the main part, so this has like an archive which is compressed with gzip and so if I open this uh, zoom uh, RPM package in the um, archive manager, it actually opens it and you can see that here we don't see any like uh, other files like we had in the arch case where there was like these three files here in the root. Here we just have all the directory structure and all these uh, files that will be put into your file system if you are using this Fedora um, system. What else we can see is that if we uh, go to the console, we can use the the um, xxd command with our like the zoom file and uh, don't forget to pipe it into less. And now the, we have kind of the binary format. We can just scroll through this first like uh, this long header, and here we can see in the right hand side uh, some text. So like a uh, zoom number one video conferencing and web conferencing service video conferencing blah, 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 cloud meeting company. So there is some information about this file in this uh, binary in the header. Zoom Linux team program script to be run after package installation and this looks like a bash script here. And um, well just more binary nonsense. So what I couldn't uh, figure out here is uh, what about the dependency list and things like that. So I have no idea about how it handles the dependencies. I would think that probably have that also some maybe some binary for in some binary format like these parts are probably already for the uh, compressed archive here. I am not 100% sure. So if we do like the same with our um, the L our LBRY uh, dev file that is Debian binary, so it tells us it's a binary and well I don't see anything that remem reminds us um, like some human readable text. So what is exactly in the .deb file? And so in this .deb file what we can see here has two tar files and uh, Actually, Wikipedia will tell us that it contains basically uh, two uh, tar archives. One archive holds control information and other contains the installable data, as you can see here. And well, I tried and I failed manually extract these files here, but as I uh, talked about it in the last video, I actually in the AUR, this library application is packaged just by extracting this dev file and repackaging it into a um, arch package. And what we can see here is that in the SRC directory, it, this control and the data as files have been extracted just as 
this Debian binary here and I wonder what this Debian binary file is. And so let's check in the console first. Let's say file Debian binary ASCII text. Well, then let's just cut it out. Oh, it only says 2.0. <laughs> Maybe it's some kind of version information. And of course, if I will go for file control, then it will tell me that it is a gzip control compressed data. And if I say file data, it will tell me it is an xz compressed data. So let's uh, see what's inside these files. So we can see there is there are four files. One is of them is md5 sums. So I guess this will contain yeah the md5 sums of the of some files that are contained here, or rather in the other um, other archive probably. So this one, this uh, control file, it's also text file. It uh, contains dependency information description. So this is very similar to the package info file in the arch package. As post in, in I guess yeah, this is like looks like a script that would be run after the installation. And post rm, it also I don't know what it is. I maybe after removing the files, so because the post inst file contains creating a link to the binary, and the post rm contains a command to remove this uh, link to the binary. So what I would guess, my guess would be that once the files have been extracted and put in the file system this post inst runs and when the files are removed in case of uninstallation this post rm script will be run and if we take a look inside this file we can see it just contains exactly like the same it contains the file or rather the directory structure and all the files that should be installed for this uh, package and I guess that's the whole magic so here again you can see that it doesn't matter the packaging formats they don't really matter the package managers as long as they can um, extract files put files in the file system and remove files and also you know uh, track the files and yeah handle the dependencies the, the, the package managers don't really matter and um, basically yeah now you saw that these package files are not magic you just you don't just have to believe me you could see it with your own eyes this time and so this was the end of the video it was I know it's just a little playing around in our system I encourage you to be curious about your system and look around take a look at these kind of files because in Linux, things seem very complicated and sometimes they seem magical, but usually everything is quite straightforward, just files in archives, a lot of cases, what we find. So if you enjoyed this video and you are curious about Linux and want to see more of this kind of uh, exploratory type of videos, then give me a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments what you liked or didn't like about this kind of video. And well, subscribe to the channel if you are interested in Arch Linux, Linux and well, free software in general, free software related videos, deep dives, tutorials and my unpopular opinions on things. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.